Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMech.com, and today we're taking a quick look at Vivaldi. Uh, we took a look at it about six months ago when it was really in its infancy. Uh, there were a lot of problems with memory issues and speed and so on. But now, six months forward, uh, the browser is actually looking pretty nice with the version 1.0 out right now. Uh, one of the major things is definitely the speed and uh, memory fixes. Uh, we'll go straight into memory fixes here. Uh, you right click your uh, start menu bar here and click test manager and you can see right here Vivaldi uh, it's showing about 43 megabytes. It fluctuates between about 38 45 for what I'm doing here but that may increase depending on what you're doing like video movies and so on but uh, this is a drastic lowering actually because when the browser was first out just having a few tabs open it would take hundreds of megabytes of your memory which isn't a problem for everyone but for those who have maybe four gigabytes of RAM that's a big problem but now it's much more manageable uh, the other thing is actually speed um, the browser would crawl uh, beforehand but obviously a lot of that depends on your internet connection Mine's a bit slow, so I guess I'm not a fair judge, but I personally have noticed a uh, big difference. So we'll just go to a web page here and say booking.com. Um, and as you can see, it starts loading up in the top, show, in the address bar here, it shows you that how many elements it's loaded and how much data it's taking. But for me, it's uh, pretty fast as far as the browser goes there's not much lag and stuttering it's actually just loads the web page obviously once again the web page loads because my web page loads quite slow because of my internet connection but overall the browser itself seems to do pretty well uh, beyond that um, Vivaldi has added a lot of features to the browser um, there are a lot of little things which we're not going to go over because they're very minuscule but the major thing is tab and organization. So basically, Vivaldi looks at it as uh, most browsers are the same, like Chrome and Firefox and Internet Explorer, because they all have the same interface you're scrolling through, and they all have the same tab layout. But Vivaldi's goal is to kind of change that up and make it uh, more manageable. So, for example, they have this new thing called tab stacking. Uh, basically it does what well it says it does and you can actually stack tabs on top of one another so all you do is grab a tab and stack it uh, you actually stack quite a few tabs on one but uh, it uh, lowers how many tabs you have up there so you don't have that cluttered claustrophobic mess and you can easily hover over it to pick which tab you want to go to or the little gray bar on top of that one tab uh, but that's not all with the tab organization you can these stack tabs you can actually right click on it and you can actually go down here and click uh, I believe it's tile tab stack here yep and you can actually have a uh, stack of tabs and actually browse them all at once uh, I'm not personally I'm not sure what you'd need that for but if I guess for people in media and need all of that open at once it kind of helps organize things and it feels cluttered to me, but it may be helpful to some other people. Uh, you can obviously go back into it and click Untitled Tab Stack. And if you ever want to ungroup your tabs, you can just right click it again and press Ungroup Tab Stack. Or if you want to remove a single page, you can just uh, hover over your tab stack, choose which page you want to go to or get rid of. And you can press that one and then you go to it and plus press Remove from Tab Stack which would then remove that web page from the tab stack. Um, it will put it back up in your browser bar up here where you can then close it if you want to. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the changes in Vivaldi. Uh, basically things have gotten uh, just a, a lot faster, a lot more convenient, uh, a bit more seamless. Uh, the browser is definitely still in its early stages so there is a lot more to come. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to version 2.0.
Uh, and one thing for sure is I'll be using this as my primary browser for the next few weeks at least. I have been using it for the past couple days and it's been great. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, for more great videos, be sure to head over to our YouTube page and you can uh, actually get a more detailed article on Vivaldi's version 1.0 uh, update in the video description below. And if you want to download it yourself, we'll also include that in the video description below. I've been, again, I've been Brad with PCMech.com and until next time, bye.